by testing one, two, three. Okay, let's start our lecture. To recap uh, what we learned previously. Um, last lecture, we learned how to change average M uh, AMU to gram. Also, uh, learn about formula to calculate the energy uh, using E equal to F multiplied by plan constant, and also the formula for speed of light, C equal to F lambda. And C is expected you to memorize. Uh, and the constant H value, maybe I will give you. Then also yesterday or previous class also, we, we look into hydrogen energy where we apply the equation H uh, E equal to minus minus 13.6 divided by N squared. N is the number of orbit, right? And to find the change of energy or changes in energy, we take the final energy minus the initial energy. So after you get the value, either it's positive or negative, it means something. If the change of energy is positive value, meaning the energy was absorbed. So when you absorb energy, means that the electron jump to another orbit, right? Means jump to a higher orbit. However, if the energy is negative, uh, means that the energy was emitted, means it released energy and the electron jump from higher orbit to lower orbit. Okay, so this is what we learned yesterday. Today we continue our lecture. So we look into Bohr's theory. So as you can see on the screen here, you will see um, the structure of nucleus and electron. And on the top here is Bohr's model. So Bohr's model, you see this is the probability. So probability, you know that uh, the green line is the location of the electron, meaning this is uh, this electron means that if the electron is very near to nucleus, probability can be near to zero. But there is a certain distance from the nucleus that uh, most of the electron was there. So the distribution of electron is within that 90% of a uh, uh, statistical location. Okay. Um, so this graph or this diagram also tell you that actually um, the distance of electron to the nucleus, there is a plus minus distance there. Okay. Yeah. So they are wave model mechanical. Uh, and it tell you that uh, what is the probability of uh, that? So yeah, this one is just to tell you that the location of electron, location of electron. That. Next, we zoom into a technical term called quantum number. So what is the meaning or what's the meaning of a quantum number? Huh? So first, first quantum number or the n, the number n here that you use to calculate the energy on the, in our previous lecture. The n, the quantum number, is to identify the energy and also the shape of the boundary space or the electron clock. Different location or different uh, location of your electron or different orbit, it tell you the different shape of the or different movement of the electron. Then it also tell you whether uh, how the electron spin, the spin behavior of the electron. Huh? So these three, uh, uh, the quantum number n, it tell you whether what is the energy that it, it have so that it stay in that lane. 
each lane or each orbit, you need that certain energy to maintain in that lane. Huh? Then also the shape and also the spin, either it's spin clockwise or anticlockwise. So it tell you a few numbers. So this quantum number, if further split, it's like a highway, it's split into four lane. Highway split into four lane. N, L, M, L, and M, S. Okay, your quantum number, you will have N, L, M, L, M sub L, and M sub S. We will now zoom into a uh, Bohr's model uh, into the orbit behavior. What mean by the first n? The first n we call it principal quantum number. It will tell you the energy level. It is, it const it is always uh, deal with your E, the E, capital E value. Huh? L is a subsidiary or orbital quantum number. Okay, we call it subcell. First one is a shell or principal quantum number. And L is a subcell or call it orbital quantum number, call it subcell L. The third one, ML, is a magnetic M, magnetic quantum number. So it tells you the orbital and their orientation. The last one, S, it tells you the spin spin quantum, MS. It tells you the electron spin positive or, or clockwise or anticlockwise, positive side or negative side. Okay. So when you talk about uh, structure of atom, you need to zoom into these four numbers. So by giving you these four numbers, you're able to do some calculation. And even you can you can sketch uh, the the shape or the the behavior of the electron. Huh? So n l m sub l and m sub s. So you have these uh, four numbers. Huh? So we will zoom into one to one. Huh? We will go to very specific one. So if you download the tutorial question, you will see this table. Huh? If you download the tutorial. You will see this table. So this table you will see in tutorial question number thirteen, uh, thirty, three zero. Huh? So um, sometimes the question in test one or test two or final exam, you will see this table to help you to do analysis. So this table table tell you. The principal principal number n, you have one, two, three, four means lane number uh the the lowest number or the ground state. Then two, three, four. And then sometimes principal number also we name it as shell. You have two names for your n number. Right? Sometimes you use numerical one, two, three. If you see one, two, three, then there is the name for that notation is quantum number. However, if you look at notation of shell, it is same meaning with n also, but it used alphabet. K means n number one, L means n number two, capital M means n number three, capital N, it means n number four. It's just for laboring, huh? it's for laboring. Then you split into subcell. So, what mean by subcell? It means that in N1 you have one subcell, means small lane, S. Then number of state will be one, and then number of electron per subcell means this is one subcell. You know that one lane for electron to 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 run uh, along the lane is two. So you imagine that uh, a big highway. A big highway, you have four lane, right? You have four lane. The 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 inner lane, which start with the S, only can fit two car at one time. So two 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 electron in subcell S. Okay. So 
per shell means uh, one number. If you are in the ground state number one, you only have two electron there. Okay, so if you want to imagine this is your nucleus and you have two orbit, so this is n1, n2, and you have a cross section. Huh? You cut this into half. So I will draw a diagram. So this is zero. It means this is the nucleus. Huh? This is a nucleus. You cut the first layer of first uh, orbit. This is n equal one. So you only have one subcell. S means you only have one lane called S. Inside this S, you have two electrons that can run along this one. So you can have two electrons run along this one. So then this one, this it just means that per cell, the whole highway, highway number one, you only have two cars can fit in for the first highway number one. Then when you jump to highway number two, this is highway number two. Okay, so remember last uh, lecture we learned about energy. You want to change from highway number one to highway number two, you need to add energy. You need to add energy means you need to press on the pedal, more energy, then it will jump to highway number two. So when it comes to highway number two, so this is K. Huh? So you have two names. Huh? One is uh, primary uh, principal quantum number one or shell K or number one orbit. Then number two, also another name is L. So L, you can see here, it got two subcell. Meaning if you jump to highway number two, you have two subcell. Meaning uh, this these two you can split into two. So these two also uh, orbit number two, but orbit number two have two like two road like that. This one only have one, but you have two. So we name as S and P subcell. Okay, so. The lowest one, number of state is one, number of state is three. What does it mean? It means this one, S, when it comes to P, they have another small tree root for P. It means if you zoom, this is P. Okay, it means that it, it still has two, two root, but this P is split in another four, uh, three more root. Okay, now you know that each each road have two electron inside. Each road has two electron, two electron, two electron. So that's why you can you see here on the screen here, the number of state S one is two. However, this one is three because P have three number of state. It give you six subset subset. So this is six one two three four five six. So total per shell, total per shell, you have eight electron. This one you have two electron. Make sense? So this one you have to like uh, write a few times, then only you can remember. Okay, and so on. Number three M, but now it's split into three main roads. Means number three, if you draw diagram, number three, huh? and number three, we use capital M to represent shell. Then inside shell, you start with S, then you have P and you have D. P, you know, you have three main road, uh, three small road there. Then D, you have five. You jump to five already. 
So it means this D, we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so each one have two, 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 two. Total, you have 18 electrons. Make sense? So two, 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 and so on. But this DPS also within the N equal three. It belongs to this highway number three. It's just that within the highway, you have a, a few lane. Then you, you move from within that one. But you jump from big lane to another big lane. It need energy. This one, small changes of energy, it will flip, it will change from D to P, P to S, and then you will big jump to another one, and then big jump to another one. Okay, the energy will, will reduce, you will jump from one lane, small lane, then small lane, small lane, and, and then when it drop to S, and then you will need big energy to jump another one. Okay, any question on this, this uh, diagram? you have to understand this one first. Huh? If not, then you're going to confuse the four numbers that you'll see later. This one tell you the, the four numbers just now. N, L, M, L, and M, S. Okay, so just now I, I introduced you the principal number. The principal number break into subcell. Later, we'll, I will explain M, L, and M, S. Just now, the one that you see on the whiteboard is N and L. Okay. All right. This diagram, you seen it yesterday. One new term for today is called energy level. So energy level means uh, if you jump from one big lane, n equal one to number two, you need a big energy. This is what this slide tell you. Huh? The L, sub L, as I explained, the one you see here, I already explained on the whiteboard. So important is the one on the screen here. It's just like same like what I draw on the whiteboard just now. It's just that it's uh, more, uh, more near to the realistic one. So you can see here at the bottom, 1s means the orbital number one, shell one. This two, you have two, two uh, subcell. Then three, you have s, p, and d. 3, you have 3S, 3P, and 3D. However, you see number 4, the 4S overlapping into energy line of your highway number 3. This 4S. It somehow shift a little bit into 4S. Then number 4, you have, you have 4S, 4P, 4D, 4F. Then you look into highway number five. Highway number five also go into highway number four a little bit. You see five S here. It go into 4D region. And then five S, five P, and so on. Number six also go into 4F. What does this diagram tell you? Just now we mentioned about energy. If you want to jump from one lane to another lane, you need a certain energy. But you see, uh, later we will do calculation, we will do some uh, drawing. The tricky part during the final exam and also test one is this one. You see the 4S? Sometimes you calculate the energy and then the energy is at 4S, means at this number. And then you thought, eh, it is Maybe it is, you, you, you thought that it can be 4D or 4, uh, 3P. Actually, it's 4 into 4S. It can fall into 4S, and then you increase energy, it will jump to 4D. Then 
you increase again, it will jump back to 4p. So it means it will jump from, let's say I draw the balls model. Huh? N1, N2, N3, normally no problem. When it comes to N equal 4, a bit tricky. Eh? You see the energy level? As you increase energy level, it will hit 4 as first. Means the electron from 4, 3p, it will, if you increase energy more than this line, the, the, the electron will go into 4s rather than they go into 3d. It will not, you know, it will not drive into 4, uh, 3d lane, but it will jump into number 4 highway. Uh, then you increase energy, it will change lane into lane number, uh, highway number 3, but the last lane of highway number three. You increase, then it jump back to highway number four, the second lane. So there's a tricky part here. There are lots of uh, tricky part here. So it's, I can either go in or go up. There's an overlapping of orbit here. The more outside you go, the more complex it is because the energy was squeezed in. All right. Okay. So um, one 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 concept before we go deeper huh? on the periodic table. This is one, two, three. This is uh, five, six, seven, eight. On the left hand side of periodic table means that have one electron outside, two electron outside, three electron outside, right? This is five electron, six electron, seven electron, and eight electron. Later, you will see the electron negativity means the tendency to become positive, the tendency become negative. It depends on the energy that they have. If you fall into left hand side of your periodic table, means it more easily let go of the energy. Uh, let go of the electron, sorry. Because uh, it's easier to let go electron outside. Okay. However, if you have more electron member, five, six, seven, then it will it will have more energy to attract electron from outside. If you fall on the left hand side, uh, right hand side of the periodic table. Okay. So because of the energy level that you see here All right so you see it's, it's more more easy to like uh attract energy uh, attracts the uh, electron mm -hmm. okay uh so just now we also mentioned the l the subcell also tell you the shape of the Look into the shape of the cloud. So just now we already introduced you through the table. The subcell is from 0, 1, 2, 3. Then the letter will be SPDF. Huh? SPDF. You can name this one using number also. S means 0. If you want to use a number, Zero one zero one two three, but I would prefer to use alphabet rather than number because it might confusing for some of you. But I prefer to use alphabet letter to represent subcell. Okay. Okay. So subcells S they look like this one. Subcell S, they look spherical. Means those fall into the big highway, they will always look spherical. So the more higher the number of your principal orbit or principal number, then the bigger size of the sphere. 
Okay, this is about the first layer, the first layer S, S inside the orbit. Second, we jump into P, yeah? so this S here, this is spherical. Then we go into P, P, they look like dumbbell. You do like dumbbell, and you have you know that in mathematics you have three axes. You have x axis, you have x axis, you have y axis, and you have z axis. So this dumbbell was along the axis. So this x, y, and z axis. Okay, it depends on where does the electron like to go. There are three possibilities for them to choose. They can either choose x axis behavior, y axis behavior, or z axis behavior. But in general, they look like dumbbell. Meaning the second P, they look like dumbbell. So that's why uh, on the whiteboard there, you'll see P have three. Uh, uh, three small lane there. Each lane will tap x axis, y axis, and z axis. Okay. So if you combine these three, means you have a uh, three dumbbell shape for p lane here. If you combine these three and then you you try to analyze it, you will you will see. A dumbbell shape mixed together. Okay, so each dumbbell tell you that gain two electron was inside running, two electron running, two electron running. That's why you have six electron for P here. Okay. Next, we go into. D, D, yeah, that you will see in uh, orbit number three. D is the the one. It is here on the diagram. D play an important role for chemistry transition in the metals ion. Okay, chemistry of transition metals ion. Where is this transition metal ion? In in previous uh, lecture, they are always in the middle here. In the middle of your trans uh, of your periodic table. Okay, so normally those those uh, metals inside here, they will have electron in D sub cell. They will show you as this on the screen here. So the D sub cell, they will have four balloon. Uh, if they are in the X, Y axis, a bit complex. Huh? So of course I won't test you drawing the, the shape. But uh, normally when I when when we test you a shape of a, the, the shape of the shell, uh, normally I will only stop at uh, P. Because more than P, it will be very complex like this. But if the question comes up, I will let I will let you know to memorize the shape. Then you need to study. Uh. But these are the shape for D sub cell. It can be this way, 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 it can be this way. Okay. Let's read, huh? Let's read. Next, we look into ML meaning, M sub L meaning. So, what mean by magnetic quantum number ML? So it have two value, uh, not two value. It have a range of value. Either it's positive L or negative L. What mean by L? L is the number of the subcell. Okay, it have a range. It depends on the 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 principal numbers that you have. 
So for example, if your L, if your L is S, let's say you only have S, then the ML value is zero. If your L is P, if your sub cell is P, for example, this one, then your ML value have three ML value. You have minus one, zero, plus one. So L numbers there only plays when play uh, play role when you want to look into ML value. Okay, just just remind uh, remind yourself that the L value start from zero, not one, and so on. If the L equal two or D, sorry, S P D uh, D, then you have minus two until plus two. Okay, if your D, if you have D, uh, D means this region. D means number two. Uh, D means uh, sub cell number two. Then your ML value will have minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two. It's a magnetic number. It's a magnetic number. Okay. Okay. So there's a formula for that. For every subcell L, there is a two L plus one orbit within the subcell. How do we use this formula? This is for number of subcell. Equal two L plus one of the subcell. Okay, the rest you read. So for example, this is your L value. L value zero for S. What is the number of orbit? Number of orbit by using 2L plus 1. The number of orbit two zero plus one you get one. So what is the number of orbit in P? Number of orbit in P. You know that P number one. P also equal to one. So number of orbit equal to two L plus one. So you have three. So that's why you have one, two, three. Then you can predict the D. D number two, so two N plus one, you have five. So that's why you see five here. And so on. So the more, the more number principle you have, then the more complex this is. Okay, can I? So this is the first, uh, I think the first equation for today number of orbit then can you calculate the total orbit uh, yes the number is n square total orbit equal to n square what does it mean for example this is n equal one total orbit one n square one. This one, n square four. So we have four. One, two, three, four. This one, n square, you get nine. You have one, two, three, four, plus five, you get nine. And so on. Means the more n number you have, the more orbit you have. Okay, so two equation for First session. Okay, I already demonstrate this one on the whiteboard. What is what was spin? Spin is either clockwise or anticlockwise spin. So we use a number positive or negative uh, half. It means uh, yeah, it means clockwise or anticlockwise. 
this is more on the chemistry dimension. All right, so spin dimension, MS, it have positive or negative. It must keep spinning. Huh? It's either spin, but there's a direction. Summary, is it stable? So principal quantum number N, subcell, L, uh, and magnetic, M sub L, spin number, M sub S. So you have this one. Plus these two equations that are right on the whiteboard. How to calculate total orbits N square? You want to calculate number of subcell for that particular subcell. We use 2L plus 1. Just remember, you have P, uh, sorry, S, P, and D. You start from 0, 2, and continue. Huh? So you use this number to, to calculate the subcell. This is a summary of the energy level for each quantum number or each principal quantum number. So for example, quantum number one, you have this energy level. Quantum number two, three, four, you see four will have two subcell here that very near to D. Five, six, seven. So there is an overlapping of energy here. Okay. So by the calculation, predict what happened to the energy, what happened to the electron, either it jumped from which orbit, if you're given a table, a, 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 a full table that with value and number of quantum number, you should be able to find by just plotting the graph. Okay, draw a straight line, draw a straight line, intersect, then you get that. Okay, this one I did, I did mention just now, uh, the 3D and 4S just now, the table. The rest you read, huh? Okay, so this is, I already demonstrated on the, on the whiteboard also, how to calculate the number of electron. Uh, sorry, this one is... Uh, Another calculation uh, for each principal order. Okay, this one is to calculate maximum number of electrons. This is orbit. Another one more uh, formula. Number of electrons in the orbit. Huh? In the yeah, in the orbit. Maximum number of electrons that can fit into the Highway, highway number one, highway number two, highway number three. You use two and square. For example, number shell number one, principal quantum number one, you can fit in two electron. So two and square, n equal one, so you get two. And maximum number of electron orbit, you have S. S superscript two means there's two electron fit into subcell S. The, the, expo the exponential number means the number of electrons. Then you read number two. Two, you get eight because two n square. You get eight. And then this is the way you write the configuration of electron. Okay. So in your answer, your configuration of uh, electron, for example, n one, your electron will be S square, and two, you will be S two, P six, and so on. How to calculate this number, this subscript number? I already tell you, one is two L plus one, total orbit is N square. So we tell you from orbit, each orbit is two electron maximum. Okay, then you fit inside there and so on. Okay, the rest you just prove the answer. Right. Okay, we stop here, go for a short break, then we continue look at the periodic table.
Okay, we have a short break, 10 minutes. We continue to 5.5. Huh? 2.5.5, we continue.